since I'm uh, vlogging anyways, I just want to do a couple shout outs to uh, s some YouTube vloggers that actually didn't encourage me but they inspired me to start vlogging. Uh, the most influential one I think was Blinky Cab. <laughs> I accidentally called them Blink 182 and I was like what the heck. <laughs> So, Blinky Cap, thank you for your Australian Aussie accent that motivated me to start vlogging. I'll probably never get as many viewers as you, but you're an awesome guy, man. Always have something new to talk about. And this is very interesting videos. That I mean, literally, I sit there and I scroll through every single video and watch your videos. Even like with your weird looking cat, I looked at that and watched it. <laughs> I was like, where's the, where's the hair on that cat? And I figured, you know, it's one of those types of breeds, so whatever. Anyways, thank you Blink, or yeah, Blinky Cab, there you go. See, I almost did it again. Blinky Cab, you're an awesome guy. Inspired me to start motor vlogging. Thumbs up, bro. Uh, another one is Toast to Go. Mostly because he wrote a VFR. Toast to Go, you inspired me also to start motor vlogging, motor vlogging, moto vlogging. And yeah, man, you're very basic. You didn't have anything extravagant. You just talk while you're riding, and that you you could be talking about how your toilet clogged that day and. Not really, you didn't have anything like that happen, or you never talked about anything like that, but you, you would talk about anything, and I'd sit there and just listen. Like, I wouldn't be even watching your video. I'd be just listening to your audio, and I'd be surfing the web. I'd be checking my email or something. But you inspired me to, yeah, you inspired me to start motoblogging also, so thank you. Uh, one guy that I watched, but he didn't really inspire me, but has really interesting videos is the M13. I just, sometimes I just can't watch his videos because he looks like he's gonna die. <laughs> it looks like he's gonna get killed. I, I can't imagine riding a motorcycle in those traffic conditions. Here in California or here in the US, we got this stereotype where Asians can't drive. Well, it holds true to a lot of Asians, like especially the fobs. Because yeah, they can't drive. I almost got run off the road by one. Now I was in my truck. It's like how can you miss a huge red truck? Eh, I'm just ranting now. But anyways, M13, you helped out a lot. I still watch your videos, but yeah, another person, uh, actually he was the first moto vlogger I ever started watching was uh, Shock of God. <laughs> that guy, he's always talking about, oh, the atheist that got defeated again. I, I defeated the atheist in a debate between creativity or creation versus uh, evolution or something and he'll pop up like a thousand pop-ups on his video and you're trying to watch a video and you got like green yellow blue red box pop-ups talking about how he whoops someone in some debate <laughs> thank you shock of god back to the point <laughs> anyways I'm gonna cut this video short talk to you guys later what on earth? Dude, hop on your bike, bro.